Hey guys, welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today we got the Bryant Bulldogs traveling to take on ACC opponent William and Mary. They are 24th in the nation. They're three and one on the season, and their roster is pretty solid. They have a 90 overall cornerback. He's one of the top 10 players in the entire country right now. The 94 speed, very impressive. And they have two really good defensive ends, Schifano and Simmons. We'll most likely see them a couple times today. Moore, 82 outside linebacker. They have a good uh, fast wide receiver. Nice offensive line. Good free safety. This team is just really, really solid. A lot of depth. 74 overall tight end. We haven't seen a whole lot of really good tight ends in this series so far. That is probably the best one. 274 overall quarterbacks. And there's the top uh, three players for your both teams. I predicted this game will be a very close one, 28-24. I got Bryant winning this one. I just think the running backs are too good. Let's see what the guys think about that. I'm Brad Nessler, joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Mother Nature has served up perfect weather for today's game between the Bulldogs and the William & Mary Tribe. As the college football season continues, these two teams are vying for position in the ACC standings. And here comes the try. Neither team seems to have an advantage in this game. Kirk, how about your prediction? The away team comes into this game needing some big plays on defense, and they have a player who can do that. His presence alone gives quarterbacks happy feet, and I think he'll help force a turnover or two and a close win. I hate to say it, you're wrong. The Tribe are going to win. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. The pregame routine just wouldn't be the same without that prediction. Now, the winner of this game will most likely win the ACC Atlantic Division. As we see, Cy Summers already get a huge hit and make it 3rd-14. Brooks sacked by Owens, who was the pregame player to watch. And he's already making his presence felt. But anyway, the winner of this game will most likely win the Atlantic Division. The rest of this division is god-awful, and they will most likely be on a collision course to take on the Savannah State Tigers in the ACC Championship game, uh, depending on if Savannah State goes undefeated in the conference, which I will be shocked if they lose at this point. There's a nice run from the fullback up to the 49-yard line. Last week, the Bryant Bulldogs completely dismantled the Bethune-Cookman Wildcats 56-10. And it's because of plays like that. Stephon Okafor coming through for the sack. And that is actually his first career sack. Third and ten. Brooks sacked again. And that is Owens. He has two sacks already. The quarterback has been sacked three times here in the first quarter. That makes it fourth and 16. Montanez under center. Going to hand off to Allen. He'll pick up the first down. And the Bulldogs look to have a nice drive here. Montanez going to throw it deep to Topher. Double coverage, and he comes down with it anyway inside the 30-yard line, down to the 26. Allen on the halfback off tackle. A lot of space in front of him. 10-5 inside the 5, down to the 4-yard line. Great run, great blocking by Topher downfield. Montanez rolling out left side, takes off and dives. They said he got it over the line for the touchdown. Bulldogs strike first. They're up 7-0 over the 24th ranked William and Mary Tribe. That was Montanez's fourth rushing touchdown in the season, by the way. Bryant with a nice catch, simple slant route, and Tatey and Moss got burnt like toast. And that is a touchdown for William and Mary. They strike back instantly. Very simple route. Moss went for the pick, wasn't even close. And did not have the speed to catch up. Montanez sacked as the Bulldogs look to get another good drive. Shafano, one of those good right ends, gets his first sack of the game. That makes it third and ten. Montanez hit as he throws it. That was dangerous. Almost picked off over the middle. The tribe get the ball back. Here is Gates. Oh my goodness. Right up the middle. All the way down to the Bryant Bulldog 25-yard line. It all started with a missed tackle attempt from Cy Summers which you don't see that very often. And Gates dropped for a loss of five yards. That is Stephon Okafor, his second tackle of the game. Both of them are for a loss. 
Brooks sacked again. Stefan Okafor with a strip sack. And Divine Adams gets his first career fumble recovery. And Stefan Okafor has his first career force fumble. Great game so far for the defense. And he just came through unblocked. And Divine Adams in a perfect position to dive on the football. Bulldogs back on offense. Allen with the option, past midfield, and gets up to the 46-yard line. We have yet to see A.J. Jordan. And here's Allen again off the outside to the 32-yard line. Allen came into the game with 600-plus rushing yards, 11 rushing touchdowns, and one receiving. Montanez over the middle to Topher. He is well short of the first down. And they'll send on the field goal unit for a 49-yard field goal attempt. They're going to fake it, and Mitchell is sacked. It looked like he was attempting to throw it, but never released the football. And Mitchell's actually a very good quarterback. So you got to attempt a fake field goal once in a while. And there's William and Mary getting inside the 20-yard line. Luke Brooks now goes over the 1,000-yard mark passing for the season. And a great tackle from Summers on third down. And William and Mary kicks the field goal through the uprights. And they take a 10-7 lead with 2.30 to go here in the second. Allen in motion, high snap, Montanez has it, and he pitches it out to Allen, spins unnecessarily, and past the 30. Still no A.J. Jordan, but here's Allen again, right side, past the 45, and taken down by the face mask at the 47-yard line. A.J. Jordan now with a carry, and a great run up past the 30-yard line, first down, his first touch of the game. Montanez all day to throw it. He's going to roll out left side inside the 20 and down to the 11-yard line. Tried to run through the corner. That didn't work out too well. A minute to go, third down. They go with Brandon Allen here on a draw play, taken down short of the first down, and Bryant will send on the field goal unit. The kick is up, and it is good. We have a tie ball game here. 10-10. Very exciting game so far. Not a lot of points, but a lot of great plays. Very close in stats. Both near 170 yards of offense. Nine first downs for Bryant. And make it ten first downs. Only five for William and Mary. And that's probably the biggest difference right now. Montanez sets up the screen to Snoopy Tucker. It takes forever to get going. And he picks up seven or eight. Five hurries on Montanez so far. He's going to throw it again here over the middle. Topher has the catch and has the first down. Allen up the gut. Look at the space. Great juke move to get to midfield. He is third in the country with 739 yards rushing on the season. Montanez rolling around. Tucker wide open inside the 10-yard line. He split the safeties and a perfect throw from Montanez. Montanez came in with uh, eight interceptions into this game. And here's A.J. Jordan getting loose into the end zone. Took it off the right side, bounced it back to the left, and was untouched into the end zone for his ninth rushing touchdown of the season. And that gives the two running backs 20 combined touchdown runs for the year. As Brooks gets sacked, that makes it third and 12. Brooks almost crushed by Cy Summers. Instead, he completes a dime out to Richardson for the first. 39 again, though, here. Brooks taking a deep shot. Man, wide open, and he overthrew the target. That was a touchdown. Come on, Luke Brooks. Bulldogs back on offense. Montanez, third down, taking a shot over the middle. Picked off by Leach. Not a good decision from Montanez. That's his ninth pick on the season. LJ Topher with the tackle. Second and six. Third quarter is almost over. They try a halfback pass. The football is thrown backwards out of bounds. And that'll bring up third and 14. Brooks escapes and gets the first down. Not very good defense from Bryant. Final play of the third quarter. Cy Summers comes through with a big hit on Brooks. My goodness. Seems like every time he touches somebody with the ball, it's just a humongous hit. Brooks takes off and taken down short of the first down marker. 
That'll bring up third and two. They're going to go play action. Brooks right side out to Davis. And he runs through four defenders for the William & Mary Tribe touchdown to take the lead. I'm sorry, not take the lead. Tie the game. You know what I'm saying. 17-17. Montanez rolling out right side on the option. Gets crushed but picks up the first down. Now Montanez going to go to the air. Rolling out left side, and he's going to sling it out to Jordan, who's wide open, and a great open field tackle by the cornerback at the 40-yard line. 4.43 to go in the game. Montanez hit as he throws it, and it's picked again by Harrison, but he fumbles the football, and Bryant recovers. What a wacky play. Bryant gets a first down out of it. Second and 11 now, though. Brandon Allen, nice juke move. Inside the 30, inside the 20, running over a cornerback. First down inside the red zone. Montanez, quick pass, right side. Brandon Allen wide open inside the 10. Five out of bounds at the five yard line. Second and goal, Montanez, and this is actually his fourth touchdown. I think I said he had four on his last one, but that was his third, this is his fourth. And he urinates on the goal post. Gates with a carry, and he is gonna take it all the way. Oh my goodness. I don't know what happened to the defense right there, but Stefan Okafor was nowhere to be found. The safety ran right by him. Oh man, Okafor got sucked to the inside. And that was a linebacker blitz. Very unfortunate for the Bulldogs. Tie game, 24-24. Quick strike out to Snoopy Tucker. Overthrows his target. And Bryant will give the ball right back to William and Mary with 2.20 to go. Morgan on the wide receiver reverse is stuffed for a loss of five yards. Stephon Okafor with his 23rd tackle on the season. I believe he has nine for a loss now. Quick pass right side to Bryant. And he's a yard shy of the first down. Okafor did not have the speed to keep up with him. And Gates will pick up the first down on third and inches. And Brooks running up through the middle here. Escapes. And Tadian Moss can't get him. Brooks is to the house. What a run from the quarterback. Looking like Mike Vick out there. When that play started, it did not look like he was going to score. Incredible run. Not sure the angle Tadian Moss was taking, but he wasn't even close. 31-24 is the score with a minute to go. Brooks, player of the game for William & Mary. Okafor, player of the game for Bryant. Montanez. Deep shot left side. LJ Topher comes down with a jump pass to the 40 yard line. Always depend on the big guy in jump ball situations. Montanez taking a sweet old time. And he's going to take a shot to the end zone. There's six defenders. That pass hits the grass. And they are going to get William and Mary for the pass interference, making it first and 10 from the 25. And Bryant content with running the football. They get the first down. He was taken down by the face mask. They didn't call it. They'll go back to the same exact play, and Allen gets into the end zone, carrying a defender on his back. And with an extra point, they will tie the football game here with 30 seconds to go, and it is tied. Quick pass over the middle. Bryant has it. A wide receiver for William & Mary, not the Bryant Bulldogs. Second and inches. Brooks sets up. Throws left side, deflected away. Stefan Okafor getting pumped right now, third and inches. Brooks, quick pass left side again. Davis is taken down, shy of the first down. And Bryant will get the ball back. Ten seconds remaining. Montanez has to take a shot deep. LJ Topher's there in double coverage. He has it at the 37-yard line. They call a timeout. They're going to send on the field goal unit for a ridiculously long field goal attempt. And it is no good. So we have our first overtime matchup in this entire dynasty. And this is a great game, guys. Top two teams in the ACC Coastal. Who wants it more? AJ Jordan picks up a first down on the first play of overtime. And they'll give it right to Allen, right side, inside the 10, five, and touchdown Bryant. They score quickly on two run plays. How will William and Mary respond here? They need a touchdown to tie. See how the defense can do for Bryant. Brooks rolling out right side. Takes off. Summers with a monstrous hit at the 20-yard line. Stops the elusive Brooks. That was a humongous hit. 
Third and five. Brooks dropping back quick. Throw over the right side. Almost intercepted by Smith. And that'll bring up fourth and five from the 20-yard line. Brooks goes play action. Bryant has it. And Summers jars the ball loose. And Bryant is going to walk out of here with a crazy overtime win after a huge hit. Again, from Cy Summers, look at that, just jarring the ball loose on fourth and five, sealing the victory for the Bryant Bulldogs. They remain undefeated, 5-0, and oh, and they look to take control of the ACC Atlantic once and for all. William & Mary is the only competition they had in that division, and I don't really see any other team from that division winning a game. I think the rest of the teams in that division only have one win each is god awful I believe they showed the graphic at the beginning of the game I just can't remember and I'm not going to go back but what a great game this was William and Mary gave Bryant a hell of a fight today made it very interesting and I believe they put up 21 points there in the fourth quarter Brooks an outstanding athlete at quarterback we sacked him five times today though great pressure from Bryant 590 total yards for Bryant, 440 for William and Mary, and there was 35 combined points in the fourth quarter. Montanez, 9 of 21, 217 yards, zero touchdowns, two picks, sacked three times. Not a great game for him, but he did have two rushing touchdowns. Brandon Allen, 193 yards rushing, two touchdowns. AJ Jordan, only eight carries today for 43 yards with one touchdown. But both halfbacks had three broken tackles. LJ Topher, a monster day yet again. Five catches, 139 yards. And a couple clutch receptions as well um, to set up a game-winning field goal attempt. Unfortunately, the kicker is just not that great. Kenneth Harrington, three pancakes, one sack allowed. Snoopy Tucker with a pancake today. Okafor led the team in tackles with seven. He also had four for loss, two sacks. Owens, four tackles, two sacks. A.J. Jordan, two tackles today. Ruben Blueberry with two. Tatey Moss with two. Snoopy Tucker with one. And Cy Summers, of course, had five tackles, two for a loss. He's just been a beast this season. That gives him 31 tackles, for, uh, 31 tackles on the season and 14 for a loss. Unreal in five games. A couple forced fumbles today, a couple of recoveries. Coleman, one of two for field goals. Of course, missed that game winning one, but it's okay. Not a whole lot to say about the return game today. But what a great game. You gotta expect Bryant is gonna be ranked after this. They just beat the 24th ranked team in the country and they were ranked 33rd. Next Bryant game, they will be traveling to take on NC and State. Another ACC matchup for them. We saw the Aggies get destroyed by Savannah State earlier in the season. So that bodes well for the Bulldogs. Our next game, which will be out tomorrow, will be the Savannah State Tigers traveling to take on the Yale Bulldogs. I'll see you guys with that one tomorrow. Take it easy, guys.